Welcome back to Say With Jay Reads, I'm Sammy. And this is a place in which I read a book, I review it, and hopefully I save you from reading a terrible book. This week we are going to review Dean Koontz's mystery novel, Dragon Tears. After two cops have chased down and shot a gunman, they encounter this homeless man as he ominously tells them, Tick tock, tick tock, you'll be dead in 16 hours. Dead by dawn, dead by dawn, dead by dawn. And thus, the paranormal chaos begins. Of the characters, we have our two main characters who are the cops. Harry, who is very orderly, he believes in tradition and following the law. And then his partner, Connie, who she is very messy, she's very laid back. She doesn't take the law seriously sometimes. And so you have two cops that are working together and they're complete opposites. We also have Sammy, who was the executive of an advertising agency. Then we have Janet and her son, and they're currently living in their car. We also meet Enrique, who is Harry's ex-partner and one of his good friends. And then we have Brian, who has the ability to freeze time at will, and he can also create golems. And I can't forget, we also have a dog that gives us some narratives as well, so we also have a dog for one of the characters. What I really liked about this book was the diversity in our characters. I like the fact that Harry and Connie are opposites of each other, whether it worked together well or if it didn't work together well at certain times. I also really liked having a narrative from the dog. While a lot of people didn't really like this narrative from a dog's perspective, I myself, I enjoyed it because I only see it in the young adult fictions in which your main characters are animals. Honestly, I enjoyed the dog more than any of the other characters because of the fact that it was a dog. That, that was all I really cared about, was the fact that this main narrative was coming from a dog. I also really liked the villain. He was creepy, he had a god complex, and he basically wanted to fix the world in what he felt was necessary to fix it. I also liked the introduction with the paranormal aspects in which you could freeze time or you have the golems that come out and attack characters. Of the things that I did not like with this novel, one of them was with how quickly Harry and Connie figured out that their villain, their bad guy, had some kind of paranormal power. It was too fast for them to solve. If I had been in their shoes and I did not know of this evil villain person who had these powers, I would have never figured out that it was something paranormal until probably many, many days later. Probably weeks. Maybe months. I also didn't like the ending very much because it came across as though it was being very rushed. When it came to the villain's death, I felt it was really rushed. I felt it was probably one of the stupidest ways for someone to die, and so I could care less. I think Koontz just said, I'm done with this novel. I'm gonna finish it off. I don't care how I finish it. And I'm gonna go on to another novel. That's what I felt like it was. Additionally, I did not like the ending. It was cheesy, it was campy, and it did not belong with this novel at all. It felt like it belonged in some kid's novel, not a mystery thriller in which people are dying. For the writing style, I did have a few problems. Koontz ends up explaining and doing a lot of definition to whatever he talks about. While that's helpful for if you did not grow up in that era, if you did, it can come across as very demeaning. For me, at the time when I read it, I had no problems with it. When I read it the second time, I went, I'm not stupid. I know what this means. Why are you explaining it to me? So now you're probably wondering, should you purchase the book and let it sit on your beautiful shelf among your wonderful book collection? Borrow it from a friend or borrow it from the library. If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you like it, go ahead and buy it. For me, I bought this book on a whim. I really liked the cover art and I liked the name Dragon Tears. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh cool, it might have something to do with dragons. No, no, it has nothing to do with dragons. I was very bummed and disappointed on that aspect. The only reason why I can actually find it being called Dragon Tears is because there's a quote in it saying that the dragon tears can taste bittersweet, but depending on the man who tastes them is his perspective on whether they're sweet or not. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with dragons. So if you want something to do with dragons, don't get the book. So that's it on Sammy J Reads. If you have read Dragon Tears and you liked it, you hated it, or you just want to talk about it, go ahead, comment down below, and I'll respond back, because I love talking about the books with you guys. If you have a book that you want me to read, review, and do the whole shebang, go ahead, comment down below, go to my Goodreads profile, recommend the book there, or just basically contact me in any way and I will go ahead and add it to my to read list of books that is currently growing. And if you want to see more book reviews, go ahead and hit the subscribe right up above. It's like right up there. And you guys will see me in your inbox every Thursday. So that's it on Sammy J Reads and I'll see you guys on the other side of the book. Bye! Yeah! End of book review thing! Last week's vlog is already up over on my channel and uh, yeah I'll go ahead and post that like right over here for you guys. And then 
This week's is going to be posted on Saturday, so I might see you guys either Saturday or next Thursday, depending on if you go and watch the vlog. Go watch the vlog. And, uh, yeah, basically it's going to involve the amazingness of, uh, well, not the unicorn. Here's the finished unicorn, you guys. Yeah! It's going to involve our, our gaming with vampires, Vampire the Masquerade, from last Saturday. And then it's also going to basically include my shopping trip to go get fabrics for my assassin's corset, yeah! Along with my uh, milady costume from the Musketeers. I'll see you guys next week, or I will see you on Saturday. I'm gonna throw myself out of the screen again, and Toby Turner, if I ever meet you, uh, mm. <laughs> Anyways, alright, bye everyone! <laughs>